During the 2008-2009 school year, 69 NFL districts awarded District Student of the Year honors. Each of these recipients became eligible for the 2009 NFL National Student of the Year Award. A national panel of judges selected six students to be named National Student of the Year finalists. This past Sunday, while we were all enjoying national tournament registration, each of the six National Students of the Year finalists participated in an interview process with our national panel of judges to select the NFL's 2009 Student of the Year. Please welcome to the stage our six National Student of the Year finalists. National Forensics Lake has given me the ability to build and form a community while learning how to develop myself in the sense that it's given me the tools to be successful past my high school years and past the classroom as well, but also giving me the ability to craft a message as well as becoming who I am at the same time. I think that speech and debate has really helped me uh, in life in general because I know that no matter what job you do choose, you need to be able to communicate. Over the last four years I've transformed into a young adult. Uh, I speak in front of a lot of people. I volunteer a lot in the community. Speech and debate and forensics really just became like an inseparable part of my life and kind of like my existence. And I think that if you can change one person's opinion or if you can make one person hear what it is that you have to say, then I think that as a debater you've sort of achieved what you were sent there to do. The greatest benefit for me for four years of forensics was kind of grounding my view of the world in reality. These NFL tournaments that you know I've been going to for the last four years have really helped me. It's actually shaped what I want to do with my career. Uh, I'm planning to major uh, hopefully in ethics, politics, and economics and sort of carry that into a career as a politician. Without the NFL's help, I really don't think I would be the man that I am today. Thank you, NFL. The National Student of the Year is considered one of the most honorable and renowned of individual student awards presented by the National Forensic League. The National Student of the Year is awarded to a graduating senior member of the National Forensic League who has best represented the tenets of the NFL Honor Code, integrity, respect, humility, leadership, and service. The National Student of the Year wins a $1,000 scholarship and will represent the league in various public capacities throughout the 2009-2010 school year. The 2009 National Student of the Year is Danielle Camois from St. Mary's High School representing Colorado Grande District, coached by David Camois. Would the six finalists in storytelling come forward to the stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding areas? As we begin the crowning of our national champions, you will notice that each of our national champions will receive more than a trophy and a scholarship. Each champion will be donned with a fresh Hawaiian lei. The NFL would like to thank the NFL contingency from Hawaii for arranging the traditional NFL champion lays. The, in addition to the Hawaiian lays, in true Alabama fashion, each national champion will be donned with a Paul Bear Bryant houndstooth hat. We assume that each of them will look better than Mr. One does in his. Paul 
Colbert Bryant served as the collegiate head football coach for 38 years and accumulated 323 wins, making him third overall. For 25 years, he served as the football coach at his alma mater, the University of Alabama, where he won six national titles. His trademark houndstooth hat serves as a symbol of excellence. The University of Alabama has generously donated on behalf of the local host committee houndstooth hats for each national champion this evening. While we are welcoming to the stage the six finalists and their coaches in storytelling, would the six finalists in impromptu come forward to the stage right area and their coaches to the stage left holding areas? To assist in congratulating the consolation and supplemental event winners, Please welcome the Director of Crazy. Forensics at the National Champion Western Kentucky I'm University Speech Team, Mrs. Judy Woodring. So lonely here. I'm crazy. Joining Ms. Woodring for the Storytelling Awards is Executive Board Member Pam Katie Wyckoff. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Western Kentucky University storytelling are in sixth place, Hannah Claire Andrews from Ravenwood High School, Tennessee, coached by Kerry Smith. In fifth place, Karina Devine from Eastview High School, Minnesota, coached by Travis Butcher. In fourth place, Megan M. Fountain from Montgomery High School, Texas, coached by Krista Nix Buckner. In third place, Emma Cadd from Liberty Senior High School, Missouri, coached by Don Johnson. Your runner-up in storytelling at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament is Tyler Daly from Blue Springs High School, Missouri, coached by Jacqueline Langston. And the winner, and the winner of Western Kentucky University storytelling receiving a $500 scholarship is Francis Ian Blaze Austin from Nutrier High School Township, coached by Linda Odo. Please welcome to the stage the six finalists and their coaches in impromptu. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I don't want to go. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I just as soon stay home. Please welcome the Assistant Director of Forensics of the National Champion Western Kentucky University Speech Team, Ms. Dawn Lowry. Joining Mrs. Lowry for the impromptu awards is Executive Board Member, Mr. Tommy Lindsay. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Western Kentucky University Impromptu are Kara Tapangan from Harlington High School, South Texas, coached by Lee Ince, sixth place. In fifth place, Daniel Rayborn from Como High School, Louisiana, coached by Sandra Broussard. In fourth place, Katie Hoag from Flathead High School, Montana, coached by Carla French Logie. <laughs> 
Third place, Rebecca Moberly from Plymouth High School, Indiana, coached by David McKenzie, Charlotte Tyree, and Jane Nelson. Your runner-up and impromptu at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament is Chelsea Rice Davis from Downers Grove South High School in Illinois, coached by Jan Hytine. And the winner of Western Kentucky University Impromptu, receiving a $500 scholarship, is Jessica Petrie from Belleville West High School, Illinois, coached by Adam Jenkins. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I don't want to go. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I just as soon stay home. Please welcome to the stage the six finalists and their coaches in prose. Unforgettable That's what you are Joining Miss Lowry in congratulating our winners in prose reading is NFL Executive Board Member, Ms. Candy King. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Western Kentucky University prose reading are in sixth place, Alex Maranto from Stony Point High School, Texas. In fifth place, Jenna Hubner from Appleton East High School in Wisconsin. In fourth place, Alexandra Catan from Munster High School, Indiana. In third place, and receiving a $250 scholarship, is Robert Jackson from Hastings High School, Texas. Your runner-up in prose reading at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament is receiving a $500 scholarship, Andrew J. Knight from Springs High School, Texas. And the winner of Prose Reading, receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University Scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame Scholarship, is Vanessa Garcia from Fullerton Joint Union High School, California, coached by Sal Tinguero. Please welcome to the stage the six finalists and their coaches in poetry reading. Misty sunrise in my hometown. Please welcome to the stage the associate director of forensics of the national champion Western Kentucky University speech team, Mr. Jace Lux. Erwin Nichols, there with Judge Lee, playing checkers at the gym. Joining Mr. Lux for the Poetry Reading Awards is NFL Vice President, Mr. Don Crabtree. From Carolina. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Western Kentucky University poetry reading are in sixth place. Jennifer L. McCarthy from Downers Grove South High School, Illinois, coached by Jan Hytine. In fifth place. Catherine Cotton from Desert Vista High School, Arizona, coached by Eric Dominguez. In 
In fourth place, Jonathan Spence from Watawasa West High School, Wisconsin, coached by Carol Weiland. In third place and receiving a $250 scholarship is Darius Wilson from Blue Springs High School, Missouri, coached by Jacqueline Langston. Your runner-up in poetry reading at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament, receiving a $500 scholarship is Andrew Philip Asper from Ronald Reagan High School, Texas, coached by Katie Vogel. And the winner of poetry reading, receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame scholarship is Andrew LaRocca from Riverdale High School, Louisiana, coached by Daniel Dominguez and Crystal Sib. As I sit here, I'm surrounded by these priceless memories. With the six finalists in commentary it, come forward no to stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding area. Please welcome to the stage the six finalists and their coaches in expository speaking. Joining Mr. Lux for the Expository Speaking Awards is Executive Board Member, Mrs. Pam McCombs. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Western Kentucky University Expository Speaking are in sixth place. Diana Carter from Silverton High School, Oregon, coached by Krista Cole. In fifth place, Madeline Heil from Presentation High School, California, coached by Barbara Heil. In fourth place, Samuel Leake from Sterling High School, Kansas, coached by Betsy Dutton. In third place, and receiving a $250 WKU scholarship, is Maurice Cunningham from Fullerton Joint Union High School, California, coached by Sal Tinhero. Your runner-up in expository at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament receiving a $500 scholarship is Susan Lowe from Apple Valley High School, Minnesota, coached by Pam and Joe Wyckoff. And the winner of Expository Speaking, receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University Scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame Scholarship is Evan M. Hernandez from Wichita East High School, Kansas, coached by Vicki Fellers. Song, song of the South, sweet potato pie, and I shut my mouth. Gone, gone with the wind, there ain't nobody looking back again. With the six finalists and their coaches in commentary, please come forward. Joining Mr. Lux for the commentary awards is the executive board member, Mr. Harold Keller. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Western Kentucky University commentary are in sixth place. 
William Drevo from Crete High School, Nebraska, coached by Elizabeth Boyle. In fifth place, Tegan Alexander Lende from Fargo Shanley High School, North Dakota, coached by Chris Dietz. In fourth place, Kevin Colton from Brophy College Prep, Arizona, coached by Elizabeth Clark. In third place and receiving a $250 scholarship is Andrew Conroy from Norman High School, Oklahoma, coached by Cassie, Casey Harrison. Your runner-up in commentary at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament receiving a $500 scholarship is Mason Scott Lindy from Fargo Shanley High School, North Dakota, coached by Chris Dietz. The winner of commentary receiving a $1,000 Western Kentucky University scholarship and a $400 Hall of Fame scholarship is Anuv Ratan from Claremont High School, California, coached by David Chamberlain. Let's give a huge round of applause to the sponsor of all the supplemental and consolation events, Ms. Judy Woodring and Western Kentucky University. The NFL is most honored to have the, as the official sponsor of the National Student Congress. The John C. Stennis Center for Public Service. The center's mandate is to build a better America by training people in public service. They do incredible programs with women in government, state legislators, and capital aides, as well as sponsoring the naval carrier, the John C. Stennis. NFL student congressmen and congresswomen exemplify the core tenets of the Stennis Center. Would our finalist senators and their coaches please come forward to the stage, and would the finalists in Student Congress House come forward to stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding areas. To congratulate the winners in the NFL John C. Stennis Student Congress, please welcome the former aide to Senator Stennis and now executive director of the Stennis Center for Public Service, the Honorable Rex G. Buffington II and executive council member, Mr. Harold C. Keller. In the Senate, the top presiding officer is Benjamin J. Tyler from Bellin Jesuit Prep School, Florida, coached by Luis Dujeles. It is It is with great pride that the National Forensic League, that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in John C. Stennis Student Congress Senate are in ninth place, Lauren Linsmeyer from Wheeling High School, Illinois. In eighth place, Benjamin J. Tyler from Bell and Jesuit Prep School, Florida. In seventh place, Alicia Nevis from Munster High School, Indiana. In sixth place, Tom Tashi from Elk Grove High School, Illinois.
in fifth place, Kalyan Ventaraja from A&M Consolidated High School, Texas. In fourth place, Anthony Paranzino from Bellarmine College Prep, California. In third place, Nimpun Bandari from Monte Vista High School, Danville, California. Your runner up in the Senate at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament is Daniel Blackman from Needham High School, Massachusetts. And your national champion in the John C. Stennis Senate receiving a $1,000 scholarship is Robert Colonel from Winter Springs High School, Florida, coached by Kathy Wells. At this time, would the finalists in Student Congress House please come forward? And with the six finalists in Colorado College Ted Turner Public Forum debate, come forward to the stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding area. In the House of Representatives, the top presiding officer is Jeffrey Block from Trinity Preparatory School, Florida. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in the John C. Stennis House of Representatives are in ninth place, Jordan Foster from Boone County High School, Kentucky. In eighth place, Hannah Hindle from Myers Park High School, North Carolina. In seventh place, Philip Hayes from Lindale High School, Texas. In sixth place, Louise Liu from Bel Air High School, Texas. In fifth place, Sebastian DeLuca from Monte Vista High School, Danville, California. In fourth place, Rahul Sangal from Plano East Senior High School, Texas. In third place, Michael Pudlow from Munster High School, Indiana. Your runner-up in the House of Representatives at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament is Jeffrey Block from Trinity Preparatory School, Florida. Your national champion in the John C. Stennis House, receiving a $1,000 scholarship, is Harlan Downs Tepper from Stuyvesan High School in New York, coached by Julie Scheinman. A special award, a special award, is named for the NFL's first president, Senator Carl E. Mont of South Dakota. It is presented each year to the school which has accumulated the most student congress participation points. Last year's winner was Monta Vista Danville High School in California, and the contenders for next year's award are Niles McKinley High School in Ohio, and Chaminade High School in New York. 
This year's Senator Carl Emont Congress Sweepstakes Trophy is awarded to Ridge High School students George Philippis, Daniel Pocus, Alexander Schmick, and coaches David Yastrzemski and Lori Johnson. Please welcome the six finalist teams and their coaches in Planet Debate, Ted Turner Public Forum Debate, as they come forward to the stage. Please, please welcome to the stage to congratulate the winners of Planet Debate, Ted Turner Public Forum Debate, the Executive Director of Planet Debate, Mr. Stefan Bouchard. Joining Mr. Bouchard is NFL Executive Board Member, Ms. Candy King. It is with great pride the National Forensic League announces the winners in Planet Debate Ted Turner Public Forum Debate are quarterfinalists in sixth place, Catherine E. Thornton and Marshall Cottrell from Brentwood High School, Tennessee, coached by Harriet Medlin. Quarterfinalists in fifth place. Itai Fari and Tom Niblock from Walt Whitman High School, Maryland, coached by Anton Tudoroy. Semi-finalists in fourth place, Brian Zakarin and Michael Sillinger from Terravella High School in Florida, coached by Beth Goldman. Semi-finalists in third place, Brian McGarry and Ben Schentz from Central High School, Springfield, Missouri, coached by Jack Tuckness. The national runners-up in Ted Turner Public Forum debate at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament are Shruti Jashakar and Adyat Gulenkar from St. Andrews Episcopal School in Mississippi, coached by Mark McNeil and Dr. Randy Patterson. And the national champions in Ted Turner Public Forum debate are Josh Zofer and Robert Kinman from Durham Academy, North Carolina, coached by Jeff Welty. Please welcome to the stage the top six debate speakers in Bickle and Brewer policy debate. <laughs> to congratulate our winners, please welcome executive board member Mrs. Pam McComas. The Julia Burke Foundation is proud to honor the second through 14th speakers in policy debate and name them Burke Scholars. The top policy debate speaker award is named in honor of one of debate's great coaches, Mrs. Phyllis Barton of Cincinnati, Princeton, Ohio. Mrs. Barton coached a national championship team in both of the great national leagues, and upon her death, her students and colleagues set up a scholarship fund to honor the Barton top debate speaker. The top six Julia Burke Foundation scholars are sixth speaker, Carl Fitzk from A&M Consolidated High School, Texas, coach Amy Parsons. The fifth speaker, Patrick Githens from Olathe North High School, Kansas, Coach Larry Swanson.
fourth speaker, Katrina Cattle from Bishop Gritton High School, New Jersey, Coach Bruce Miller. It's New Hampshire. The third speaker, Colin Quinn from Glenbrook South High School, Illinois, Coach Tara Tate. The second speaker, Eric Johnson from Bellarmine College Prep, Coach Christopher Wolf. And the Phyllis Flory Barton Trophy and a $250 Barton Scholarship goes this year's top policy debate speaker, Vijay Sirahan from Bellarmine College Prep, coached by Christopher Wolf. This is a note for the sponsor that was not in the original script. It's Scott what? Welcome to the stage in the National Public Policy Forum, Director Sir and Mark. Please welcome to the stage the top six policy debate teams. Policy debate at the NFL National Tournament is sponsored by Bickel and Brewer Foundation. The Bickel and Brewer Foundation is the creator of America's only national debate scholarship competition that combines both oral and written debating skills. Students compete annually in this nationwide competition for a chance to win a $10,000 prize in student and school scholarships. All schools are encouraged to visit the NFL website for more information on entering next year's contest. And to greet our winners from the Bickel and Brewer Foundation, from the International Public Policy Forum Director, Sarah Mashala. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces the winners in Bickel and Brewer policy debate are quarterfinalists in sixth place, Colin Quinn and Will Tebow from Glenbrook South High School in Illinois, coached by Tara Tate. <laughs> quarterfinalists in fifth place, Andrew Murray and Alexander Nassar from Colleyville Heritage High School, Texas, coached by David Houston. <laughs> Semi-finalists in fourth place, Sejel Parke and Chander Ramsha from St. Francis High School in California, coached by Douglas Dennis. Semi-finalists in third place, Mario Fiola and Andrew Arsht from Roland Hall, St. Mark's, Utah, coached by Michael Shackelford. <laughs> the national champion policy debate team will receive the Harland B. Mitchell Trophy, named after the NFL's legendary debate coach. The national runners-up in policy debate at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament are Patrick Berger and Justin Chen from James Logan High School, California, coached by Tom Woodhead. And the national champions in Bickel and Brewer policy debate and recipient of the Harlan B. Mitchell Trophy are Sean Hernandez and Reed Ehrlich Quinn from Damien High School, California, coached by Chuck Bollingall and Nick Fiore. The Ted W. Belch Award, named after legendary NFL coach and Hall of Fame member Ted Belch, is presented to the coach of the national champion policy debate team. 
In addition, a permanent replica trophy is housed in the NFL National Headquarters and on a larger base displays the names of each year's recipient. Please welcome to the stage to present this year's award a member of Ted's first policy debate championship team, Mr. Jeff Allred. And since he's the one standing in the middle of the stage, this year's recipient of the Ted W. Belch Award is Coach Chuck Bollingall from Damien High School in California. I would like to invite to the stage the 1973 NFL Boys Extemp Champion, two-time college NDT champion, and top speaker, and the 1970s College Policy Debater of the Decade, Mr. Tom Rollins. Over to stage right. Step out to stage right, yep. 2009 shall mark the inaugural year of the awarding of the Unger Cup. This annual award, named in honor of one of America's finest debaters and coaches, former Georgetown Director of Forensics, Professor James Unger, is awarded this year to the policy debate program, which has placed the highest commutatively at five great national debate tournaments. The National Public Policy Forum, the NAUDL Nationals, the NCFL Grand, the Tournament of Champions, and the NFL National Debate Tournament. Through a substantial financial contribution from alumni and friends of Dr. Unger, the Unger Cup shall be endowed and presented in perpetuity at the NFL National Tournament. An antique silver, three-handled loving cup created by Tiffany at the turn of the century will remain at the NFL National Office with a professionally designed base with the names of all future recipients. And the winning team will receive a trophy replica. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Rollins to say a few words in honor of Professor Unger and invite him to award the inaugural recipient. Thank you. This is the first time that the Unger Cup will be awarded, and so I was asked to say a few words about Jim and why it is that we decided that this award in his honor was so appropriate at this event. Jim was the coach at Georgetown University in the 70s and at American University in the 1980s. I chose, after having won boys extemporaneous speaking, uh, to go to Georgetown and debate for Jim. The reason you went to Georgetown to debate for Jim was because he was the best. In the 1970s, the college debate community began at-large rankings, where they ranked teams based on their performance across the entire season of college debate. Used that originally just as a way to pick people who would go to the national debate tournament without having to qualify through district tournaments. Since then, it occurred to someone that that was actually quite an achievement to win the at-large awards. And uh, now there is an award called the Rex Copeland Award, uh, awarded annually to the team that does best throughout the season. In the years that that award was originally created, Jim's teams won it five out of the first eight years it was available. He took second another time and third a time after that. Jim owned college debate in the 1970s. <laughs> now he was a coach. He was my coach. There are hundreds of them in this room. I'm one, though only recently. And what do coaches do? Well, they contend with awful tournament food. They ride in ridiculous transportation and arrange for it to get you here and there. They deal with evidence, scripts, 
practice with you. They provide comfort sometimes. They're a strong friend to have around when things go wrong at tournaments. But what I remember most about my coach was him being angry at me. <laughs> Y'all get some of that? Now, some of the time, he was angry at me because I did some of the things that teenage males are disproportionately likely to do. But most often, and you realize this only as time goes by, and I swear to God, it only becomes really clear once you start coaching yourself, that the reason that he got angry with me most is when I got in the way of my own potential. That is what your coaches do for you. Just before that. You look at this room. This is an astounding chamber we are in. An astonishing fraction of the human potential of your generation came to Birmingham this week, and a much of that is in this room this evening. And I will tell you now that the majority of you are here because some coach saw in some 14 or 15-year-old kid what nobody else did. They saw a spark and they have nurtured it and brought you to this tournament. You will, as you get older, trust me, this from a former boys champion, as you get older, come to understand what your coach saw in you, and your life will be better as you begin to see what your coach saw. That is the most powerful thing that they do for you. I congratulate everyone in this chamber for having been here. Now, this particular award, has some sweet ironies for me and for others who helped fashion it, alumni of Georgetown and American University who contributed to it. The award this year will go to the team that did best in the cumulative performance at five national tournaments, and that team, that school, is Damien High School. Damien High School is coached by Chuck Ballingall, who for many, many years was a good friend of Jim Unger's and taught at the Georgetown University Summer Debate Institute. This was, by the way, the, the highest achievement one could hope for in high school debate, was to go to the Georgetown University Summer Institute, and if you were really lucky, to be in Jim Unger's lab while you were there. And before my senior year in high school, I went to the Georgetown Institute, was in Jim Unger's lab, and my debate partner was a fellow named Nick who debated at Damien High School. It is with great, great regard and enormous pleasure that I announce that this year's winner of the, day of the Unger Cup, of the inaugural Unger Cup, goes to Damien High School and to Coach Chuck Ballingall. At this time, please welcome the top six Lincoln Financial Group Lincoln Douglas debaters to the stage. The National Forensic League is proud of its partnership with Lincoln Financial Group, the sponsor of Lincoln Douglas Debate. Please show your appreciation for Lincoln Financial Group, the national sponsor of the NFL Lincoln Douglas Debates, as we welcome President Abraham Lincoln to the stage to join Lincoln Financial Group Assistant Vice President for Corporate Branding and Advertising, David Wozniak, in, cons in congratulating the award winners. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Lincoln Financial Group Lincoln Douglas debate are quarterfinalist in sixth place, Daniel Smogard from Green Hill High School, Texas, coached by Aaron Timmons. <laughs> quarterfinalist in fifth place, Adam Gerchik from the Potomac School, Virginia, coached by Tom Rollins.
semifinalist in fourth place and receiving a Lincoln Financial Group scholarship for $500 is Stephen Laurie from Cherry Creek High School, Colorado, coached by Fletcher Woolsey and Marty Benham. Semi-finalist in third place and receiving a Lincoln Financial Group scholarship for $1,000 is Aparan Ramanan from Leland High School, California, coached by Chris Wardner and Gay Brasher. The national runner-up in Lincoln-Douglas debate at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament and receiving a $2,000 scholarship is... Jake Nebel from Trinity Preparatory School, Florida, coached by Dean Rhodes. And the national champion and winner of Lincoln Financial Group Scholarship for $5,000 and a bust of Abraham Lincoln, your national champion in Lincoln Financial Group, Lincoln Douglas debate, Shivani Vora from Hockaday School, Texas, coached by Stacy Thomas. Please welcome the finalists in United States Extemporaneous Speaking, presented by Carmendale Fernandez, to please come forward to the stage. Please, wel please wel welcome to congratulate tonight's winners Representing the sponsor of U.S. Extent, Ms. Carmendale Fernandez, Hall of Fame coach Gabe Brasher of California, and the president of the NFL, Billy Tate. I ask that all finalists remain on stage until all awards have been announced. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in United States Extemporaneous Speaking, presented by Carmen Dale Fernandez, are in sixth place, John Mern from Terravella High School, Florida, coached by Beth Goldman. In fifth place, Tyler D. Fabry from Chesterton High School, Indiana, coached by Robert Kelly. In fourth place, Alex Dramme from Howland High School, Ohio, coached by Thomas Williams. In third place and receiving a $250 scholarship is Nicholas Cugini from Cypress Ridge High School, Texas, coached by Scott Baker. The national runner-up. In United States Extemporaneous Speaking at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament and receiving a $500 scholarship is Tama Narayan from Leland High School, California, coached by Chris Wardner. And the national champion in United States Extemporaneous Speaking, receiving a trophy and a $1,000 scholarship, is Evan Larson from Bellarmine College Prep, California, coached by Bill Healy. Please welcome the finalists in Ripon College A.C. Ely Memorial International Extemporaneous Speaking to the stage. Please welcome, from the Ripon College, the Director of Forensics, Dino Pape, and Assistant Coach Amy Dorman, to congratulate the Ripon College International Extemporaneous Speaking Award winners. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Ripon College A.C. Ely International Extemporaneous Speaking are in sixth place, 
Ryan Pollock from Mount Lebanon Senior High School, Pennsylvania, coached by George Saravesi. In fifth place, Cessnu Walderman from Lamar High School, Texas, coached by Eloise Weiser Blair. In fourth place, Luke R. Brinker from Topeka High School, Kansas, coached by Pamela McComas. In third place, and receiving a $250 Schwann scholarship, is Jacob Baker from Bellarmine College Prep, California, coached by Bill Healy. The national runner-up in international extemporaneous speaking at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament and receiving a $500 scholarship on behalf of Ripon College is Will Rafey from Bellarmine College Prep, California, coached by Bill Healy. And the national champion in Ripon College, A.C. Ely International Extemporaneous Speaking, receiving a trophy and a thousand dollar scholarship is Stacy Chen from North Allegheny Senior High School, Pennsylvania, coached by Sharon Volpe. The sponsor of original oratory is the auxiliary of the Patrick Henry Memorial Foundation. At the Red Hill Plantation in Southside, Virginia, the Patrick Henry Memorial Foundation keeps alive the traditions of Patrick Henry, America's great orator of the revolution. Red Hill Plantation is a wonderful historical memorial to a man who shaped American history and defined the art of oratory. To congratulate tonight's winners, please welcome the president of the Auxiliary of the Patrick Henry Memorial Foundation, Ms. Kay Luckadoo. <laughs> Joining Ms. Luckadoo to congratulate our winners is executive board member, Mr. Tommy Lindsay, Jr. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Patrick Henry Memorial Original Oratory are, in sixth place, Rory Squire from Madison County High School, Virginia, coached by Donald Hitt. In fifth place, Joe Thomas from Egan High School, Minnesota, coached by Joni Anker. In fourth place, Alexandra Elam from Plano Senior High School, Texas, coached by Karen Wilbanks. In third place, and receiving a $250 Patrick Henry scholarship, is Alphonse Mushamba from Holy Ghost Preparatory, Pennsylvania, coached by John Butler. And the national runner-up in original oratory at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament and receiving a $500 Patrick Henry scholarship is Morgan Bush from McNeil High School, Texas, coached by Matthew Morrell. And our national champion in original oratory Receiving a Patrick Henry trophy and our $1,000 Patrick Henry scholarship is John Hoffmeister from Apple Valley High School, Minnesota, coached by Joe Wyckoff and Pam Katie Wyckoff. The President's Bowls sponsored by Mr. Donis, Donis and Lavilla Roberts, recognize the students who, according to the cumulative scores of all the judges in the final rounds of original oratory and United States extemp, 
won the final round. Presenting the President's Bowls are Donis and Lavila Roberts. This year's President's Bowl winner in original oratory is John Hoffmeister from Apple Valley High School, Minnesota, coached by Joe Wyckoff and Pam Katie Wyckoff. This year's President's Bowl winner in United States extemp speaking is Taman Narayan from Leland High School, California, coached by Chris Wardner. The Meta Bowl is sponsored by the family of NFL alum Jason Meta and recognizes the student who, according to all of the judges in the final round, won the final round of international extemp speaking. With us this evening to present the Meta Bowl is Jason Meta and his family. This year's Meta Bowl winner is Stacy Chen from North Allegheny Senior High School in Pennsylvania, coached by Sharon Volpe. Please welcome the finalists in Western Kentucky University Humorous Interpretation to the stage. Please welcome Ms. Judy Woodring back to congratulate the winners. Joining Ms. Woodring is Executive Board Member Pam Katie Wyckoff. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Western Kentucky University Humorous Interpretation are in sixth place, Whitney Hartzell from O'Gorman High School, South Dakota, coached by Teresa Fester. In fifth place, Joe Brinkle from Louisville Senior High School, Ohio, coach Kelly Ladd. In fourth place, Andrew Langdon from Plymouth High School, Indiana. In third place, and receiving a $250 Western Kentucky University scholarship is Michael Dane Lathrop from Corpus Christi Carroll High School, Texas, coached by Kelly Kimball. And the runner-up in humorous interpretation of the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament and receiving a $500 Western Kentucky University scholarship is Ryan Vasquez from Bellarmine College Prep, California, coached by Kim C. Jones. And the national champion in Western Kentucky University Humorous Interpretation, receiving a $1,000 scholarship, is Lindsey White from Eastview High School, Minnesota, coached by James Benji. Would the six finalists in Colorado College Sandra Silver's duo interpretation come forward to stage right and their coaches to the stage left holding areas? Please welcome the finalists in dramatic interpretation.
congratulating the winners of the Lanny Naglin Traumatic Interpretation in honor of past president Lanny Naglin is Hall of Fame member Mrs. B.J. Naglin. <laughs> Joining Mrs. Naglin is executive board member Mrs. Pam McComas. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Lanny Naglin Dramatic Interpretation are, in sixth place, Jenny Gladstone from Desert Vista High School, Arizona, coached by Eric Dominguez. In fifth place, Taylor Misiak from Eastview High School, Minnesota, coached by Meg Krekeler. In fourth place, Michael Dahlgren from Holy Ghost Prep, Pennsylvania, coached by Tony Fiola. In third place, and receiving a $250 Naglin Memorial Scholarship, is Elias Abdallah from Gregory Portland High School, Texas, coached by Charlotte Brown. The national runner-up in dramatic interpretation at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament and receiving a $500 Naglin Memorial Scholarship is Jacob Abel from Uri High School, Colorado, coached by Nancy Nixon. And the national champion in Lanny Naglin Dramatic Interpretation, receiving a $1,000 Naglin Memorial Scholarship, is Jane Bruce from Ogden High School, Utah, coached by Matthew Madsen. Would all the finalists in duo interpretation please come forward? Congratulating the winners of Colorado College Sandra Silver's duo interpretation is the Vice President of Student Life and Dean of Students for Colorado College, Dr. Michael Edmonds, and Mr. Sim Butler, Director of Forensics at Colorado College. Joining them is NFL Vice President Don Crabtree. It is with great pride that the National Forensic League announces that the winners in Colorado College Sandra Silver's duo interpretation are, in sixth place, Luke Fernandez and John Reynolds from Harlingen High School, South Texas, coached by Lee Ince. In fifth place, Aaron Straka and Lauren Stoffer from Egan High School, Minnesota, coached by Seth Hammond. In fourth place, Joshua Evans and Robert Knapp from Egan High School, Minnesota, coached by Seth Hammond. In third place, and receiving a $250 scholarship from Colorado College, Brian Johnson and Hannah DeFree from Denfield High School, Minnesota, coached by Jill LaFold. <laughs> the
the national runner-up in duo interpretation at the 2009 Lincoln Financial Group National Forensic League National Tournament and receiving a $500 Colorado College Scholarship, Greta Besser and Adam Bosharab from Lakeville North High School in Minnesota, coached by James Doyle. The national champions in Colorado College Sandra Silver's duo interpretation receiving a thousand dollar scholarship are Ismael Williams and Drake Pew from James Logan High School in California coached by Tommy Lindsay Jr. The University of Alabama. The University of Alabama is the sponsor of the Bama Bowl. Director of Forensics, Dr. Frank Thompson, and the University of Alabama are awarding a $250 scholarship and the Bama Bowl to the students who, according to all the judges in the final round, won the final round of the three main event interpretation events. Please welcome Dr. Frank Thompson, Director of Forensics at the University of Alabama to present the Bama Bowls. Dr. Thompson is joined by Dr. Mark Nelson, Vice Provost and Vice President for Student Affairs at the University of Alabama. This year's Bama Bowl final round winner in humorous interpretation is Ryan Vasquez from Bellarmine College Prep, California, coached by Kim C. Jones. This year's, this year's Bama Bowl final round winner in dramatic interpretation is Elias Abdallah from Gregory Portland High School, Texas, coached by Charlotte Brown. And this year's Bama Bowl final round winners in duo interpretation are Brian Johnson and Hannah DeFree from Denfield High School, Minnesota, coached by Jill LaFalde. This year, Ivy Select College Counseling Services is proud to honor the two students who have earned the most NFL points during the course of the NFL National Tournament in main event speech and main event debate events. Welcome to the stage to honor our recipients, Executive Board Alternate, Mr. Chris McDonald. This year's recipient of the 2009 Ivy Select Scholar Student of Excellence Award in Speech is Alphonse Mushamba from Holy Ghost Prep, Pennsylvania. This year's recipient of the 2009 Ivy Select Scholar Student of Excellence Award in Debate 
is Shivani Vora from Hockaday School, Texas. It is my pleasure to announce the following winners of the Lincoln Financial Group iPod giveaway. Oh yeah. The iPod giveaway. If you have not claimed your prize, please go to the Lincoln table located in the foyer after the ceremony. Justin Melissa, Muster High School, Indiana. Sarah Lavere from Winston Churchill High School, Texas. Brandy Berner from Independence Truman High School, Missouri. Rachel A. Shannon from Hutchison High School, Kansas. And Jared Marr from Southside High School, South Carolina. If you are a senior in the National Forensic League, please stand. I would ask you that the seniors stay standing. And take this charge. We don't have time to wait for you to be the leaders of tomorrow. A very intelligent man once said, you need to start leading today. Opportunity is going to start knocking tomorrow. And there's one single thing that you must do. Open the door. That's my job. George Mason University is the proud sponsor of the national tournament Circle of Champion Coaches. Congratulating our coaches this evening from George Mason University is the Director of Forensics at George Mason University, Dr. Peter Pober. The impromptu champion coach, Adam Jinks from Belleville West High School, Illinois. The storytelling champion coach, Linda Odo from Nutrier High School Township, Illinois. The expository champion coach, Vicki Fellers from Wichita East High School, Kansas. The commentary champion coach, David Chamberlain from Claremont High School, California. The prose reading champion coach, Sal Tinhero from Fullerton Joint Union High School, California. The poetry reading champion coach, Daniel Dominguez and Crystal Sims from Riverdale High School, Louisiana. The Student Congress Senate Champion Coach, Kathy Wells from Winter Spring High School, Florida. The Student Congress House Champion Coach, Julie Scheinman from Stuyvesant High School, New York.
The Ted Turner Public Forum Champion Coach, Jeff Welty from Durham Academy, North Carolina. The Policy Debate Champion Coach, Chuck Ballingall from Damien High School, California. The Lincoln Douglas Debate Champion Coach, Stacy Thomas from Hockaday School. The U.S. Extemporaneous Speaking Champion Coach, Bill Healy from Bellarmine College Prep, California. The International Extemporaneous Speaking Champion Coach, Sharon Volpe from North Allegheny Senior High School, Pennsylvania. The Original Oratory Champion Coach, Joe Wyckoff and Pam Katie Wyckoff from Apple Valley High School, Minnesota. The Humorous Interpretation Champion Coach, James Fedgy from Eastview High School, Minnesota. The Dramatic Interpretation Champion Coach, Matthew Madsen from Ogden High School, Utah. And the Duo Interpretation Champion Coach, Tommy Lindsay Jr. from James Logan High School, California. Let's give a big round of applause to our George Mason University Circle of Champion Coaches. Thank you, George Mason University. And now it's time to honor our main event national champions with the big money. Each national champion will receive a $5,000 scholarship from Lincoln Financial Group to present your Lincoln Financial Group Circle of Champions. Please welcome Assistant Vice President for Corporate Branding and Advertising, David Wozniak and President Abraham Lincoln. As I call the roll of honor, Mr. Wozniak will present each winner a scholarship from Lincoln Financial Group for $5,000. In Student Congress, the Senate, Robert Colonel from Winter Springs High School, Florida. In Student Congress, the House, Harlan Downs Tepper from Stuyvesant High School, New York. In Ted Turner Public Forum Debate, Josh Zopher and Robert Kidman from Durham Academy, North Carolina. In policy debate, Sean Hernandez and Reed Ehrlich Quinn from Damien High School, California. In Lincoln Douglas debate, Shivani Vora from Hockaday School, Texas.
in United States extemporaneous speaking, Evan Larson from Bellarmine College Prep, California. In international extemporaneous speaking, Stacy Chen from North Allegheny Senior High School, Pennsylvania. In original oratory, John Hoffmeister from Apple Valley High School, Minnesota. In humorous interpretation, Lindsay White from Eastview High School, Minnesota. In dramatic interpretation, Jane Bruce from Ogden High School, Utah. And in duo interpretation, Ismael Williams and Drake Pugh from James Logan High School, California. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2009 Circle of Champions. gentlemen, before we draw the final two $1,000 Lincoln Financial Group Participant of the Year Scholarships, let me thank you. Thank you and the local hosts for making the 79th National Tournament a gigantic success. The stars fell on Alabama Nationals will always be an incredible memory. And again, I wish to extend my thanks to the National Tournament Committees for creating such a memorable event. Again, a reminder that all champions and their coaches, as well as the Bruno E. Jacob champion team, please come to the stage after the awards program for pictures. Now, President Tate, some final words before our final drawings. Yes. Indeed, stars did fall upon Alabama. They continue to fall, and thankfully, many of you are stars here tonight. Next year, we travel to Kansas City, as most of you know, where we go to Don Crabtree for his third national tournament. Let's look forward to that, save our memories from tonight. And also, Tim, we have some final money to award, right, Tim? Tim? Yes. Okay, please welcome back to the stage David Wozniak, Assistant Vice President for Corporate Branding and Advertising for the Lincoln Financial Group for the final two Participant of the Year drawings. All right. Over the kids in these seats. Let's walk out. All right, Dave, who do we have here? Okay, we're going to the floor level. Yeah. Rowie, seat 113. One thirteen. One one three. All one, right, one, three. come on down. A thousand dollar participant of your scholarship. This is one of our international students. Congratulations. 
<laughs> Congratulations. Now, uh, what is your name? Uh, Han. And Han, what school are you from? Youngside International School of Seoul. Congratulations. <laughs> we have one more. Staying on the floor. Randomly drawn. Randomly drawn. Row D. Seat number 303. All right, come on down. <laughs> I love it. Here you go, Dave. Your name in school? Uh, Kevin Colton, Profi Prep, Phoenix. Congratulations, Kevin. There you go. Thank you, Lincoln Financial Group, and good night.